Hello everyone, great morning to y'all. Welcome to a beautiful day on the Texas Gulf Coast. Calm waters, we haven't seen that in quite some time. So I'm hoping that I have a great video in store for y'all. Let's keep the fingers crossed that it turns into a spectacular day of fishing. I'm ready for this, I've been needing it. I've been off the water for two days, so let's get started. example of Old Town Ingenuity over the Hobie. Nick is, he's butterflying them fins. I can see them. And Nick's legs look like a little chihuahua when it's walking. <laughs> and juggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's there. He's there. You can see him. That's. I mean, I, I'm gonna assume it's something. I don't know if it's a redfish yet, but you can literally see the uh, right. I did see a wake, like right up against the bank, and I know it's not something coming off the kayak. Maybe this is going to be too heavy for something that I want to throw and like not try to spook them. Now we'll give it we'll give it a shot. As soon as I can find those fellas, give it a shot, slow it down there to go right there. Oh yeah, that is one. Let me go ahead and lead him. It's definitely a red because he just blew up right alongside the grass. Possibly me that spooked him. Let me get back out away from the grass. Oh gosh, that water is super clear. That nonetheless, that was a massive redfish that just blew up right over there. There's something for us. Yeah. I gotta put the oh. Oh, that is one. That's one. It's a little fella. Oh, that's a big one right there. Dang. They were, there was a whole school of, here goes one right here. Ah, I spooked him. The water's so clear. Right in front of you, Mark. Oh, I cast the wrong direction. We're going to let David take the lead because I just came in here like a, freaking golden retriever splashing water all over the darn place spooked every one of them. that had to have been close to eight eight reds he was a he was a nice one here's a quick one hour update we've been slinging the shimmer swimmers, the first one was the uh, the glass color, and then we went to a natural after about an hour. And then for the next 15 or so minutes, I've been slinging this one right here, the natural. The glass was first. Uh, we've spooked a few reds. I've seen a sheep's head. The water is ultra clear, beautiful conditions. The wind's at my back, sun's out. Water temp is in the upper 50s. No dead fish along the bank and great company amongst friends right there. You got RX Angler and then Trail Chaser. So what we have is the reds are here. I mean, we've already spooked a nice school of them, but their belly is in the mud and we're waiting for the sun to kind of warm up the water to turn them on because they are in a comatose state right now. And then as soon as we push right up on them, they get spooked and take off. Eventually this lure will go right in front of one of their mouths and all he's got to do is open and then that's it, eat. But uh, definitely got quite a bit of activity going on. Oh, first dead fish, bro. Is that a dead fish? It's 
got to it's got to be It's a big one too. It's got to be, man. Well, y'all let me know. They stink. Nick just confirmed. Black drum. Big ol' ugly. Dead. First fish of the day. Alright. Let's do another update since we're going to swap out lures. We're going to go back to what worked inside the other marsh. Start throwing the flats bug really quick. See if that will help us out getting that first bite. If these guys are just camera shy and reluctant to bite because I'm giving them such a big lure, well, you know how some of them fish are. They don't want the big stuff. So you give them the, the little stink eye and they'll go up and inspect it. It looks harmless, so then they just eat it. Let's see if we can get them to eat it. Plus, this is a bottom bouncer too. Tons of action. You don't even got to move it. And the rabbit fur will do its thing as it sets still. So when you do twitch it, it's got a small, tiny little curl tail, finesse grub on it. And then it's got action. The rabbit fur kind of sits down. Bait going airborne. It is really quiet, calm back here couple of mud boils still every now and again here and there using the perfect lure for the situation I mean you got to use something tiny so that you don't spook anything with the water being so calm big lures make way too much noise and there's mullet right there um, there's no bait going airborne making tons of noise so it would just seem unnatural when you throw a massive lure This is the end of the line right here. We're about to turn around and go back towards the bayou. Nice hawk right there. Is that a hawk or no? That's a hawk. Some good b-roll if I was to not be fishing right now. I should just be catching some b-roll since I ain't catching no fish. Give y'all something to look at, huh? Cool thing about the uh, Minn Kota on the autopilot is it's right underneath the boat so as the side of the kayak hits the bank the trolling motor is not in the mud I do kind of like that about it okay well we're about to sit down there's nothing to sight cast to over here it's probably still a little bit nippy in this area get back over there towards the entrance where the water's a bit warmer for them Yeah, I think David probably went out. That's kind of what I want to do. Yeah, but he's there. I saw him. It was a big rug. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I told you, bro. <laughs> speck? Oh, that speck? Yeah, I think it's a speck. No, it's a little red. Yeah. Mud chicken. Nick, you ever had mud chicken? Uh, KFC special? Yeah. KFCs. It's seven, it's seven feet right here. Right Dude, here. chill out, homie. Crushed it. C -c 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 Crushed it. Gorgeous blue tail, y'all. There we go. Right on the tongue. My little homie. Like, those fish don't know it, but I kind of think of ourselves as family now. All up and down this Texas Gulf Coast. Those fish are like family. And we are back. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give y'all the three hour update. I'm gonna say it's three hours. I honestly don't have any track of time. I, I think it's overrated. But let's give you an update of what's been going on. We made it to a spectacular back lake that y'all saw. And it was just loaded with mullet. That was it. So the fish have not made their way to the furthest reaches of this particular tiny little marsh system. Nonetheless, we're going to keep carrying on and I will report back to y'all 
ASAP when I see one. That's all I've really seen is just a bunch of bait back here and we are miles and miles away from the launch. We've come down, I want to say it's a river, I'm not too sure. I, I, this is my first time in this area and it is, uh, I'm back here in a back lake, very shallow. What's up, Brotato? Hey, any, any luck? I've only seen one big red, probably about 27 inches. That's it. Did you get him? No, no. You know, he did me oh, like a Jehovah Witness. <laughs> All right. I'm about uh, to turn around, though. Okay, you turn around. Okay, we'll meet you back in the main channel, I guess. Okay, yeah, I came all the way back to where it opens up to a back lake and then I continued and then it opened up to another back lake. I mean, it looks beautiful, man. I just can't believe that they're not here. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that sucks, man. I mean, I didn't catch any. I just, we didn't see, we went down by you and we actually can see you. I, I can, by you I can, your left if you're going to. yeah, I can see y'all. Oh, you can see it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to go down, back down this winding ditch. I just wanted to come into the back lake to see if I could find anything, but it's just mullet. That's it. No reds back here. Okay. Okay. Cool, man. We'll see you then. All right. I'll be over there. Okay. Bye. So y'all pretty much heard it. That is the update. We are going to turn right back around and get out of here. It's just very very beautiful marshy area that is super clear unlike what I'm used to fishing it's murky so it's luck of the draw they have to give themselves up but here you can actually see them swimming by let's turn ourselves around and uh, I'll be back as soon as we get over there with the the guys all right y'all so I did a battery swap just for you we're headed back towards the launch. I don't know if you can tell or not by the sound of all that wind, but we are in some serious water chop. Three kayaks, you got my boy RX right here, and then there goes Trail Chaser right up there. We've got miles and miles to go. That's gonna do it for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tagging along on today's adventure. For those of you interested in the gear that I use today, it's all gonna be linked in the description down below, so check it out. If you make a purchase, you would be helping to support the channel. I wanna end on a positive note as far as the fish kill is concerned. We are very fortunate here on the upper Texas Gulf Coast to not have experienced the uh, numbers of dead fish that I saw today seven of them in total and the majority of them were all big reds uh, the good thing is that none of them went to waste uh, the carcasses that i had seen were half eaten possibly by the crabs and then the ones that washed up on the shore were being torn at by the vultures so the circle of life is alive and well so i guess if there's a positive that's gonna be it so um, yeah Count your lucky stars if you live in the Galveston area and uh, you get to go out there fishing the way I do and still catch good numbers. You're seeing them blow up. It was a tough day, but uh, we did see them out there and maybe on the next trip that I go down, the fishery will hopefully bounce back. There's no doubt in my mind that it will. Texas Parks and Wildlife has done an outstanding job in helping to protect our resource and as long as we abide by their rules that they set in place, then there's for sure no doubt that it will bounce right back. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my work and you want to help support it, please consider becoming a patron to the channel. And that is going to do it. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.